What's good? It's Fever. I got some Arc Age for you now. The queue times suck currently, so let's break up the boredom and pass the time with a couple of pro tips, 12 of them to be exact. Food recovery items that restore health and mana are not knocked off with combat or being hit like in other MMOs. So if you're running a build that hurts on sustain and mana issues seem to be a huge complaint, think about eating or scarfing down those adventurer buns to keep yourself topped off during combat. While you're in combat with ordinary mobs, spamming certain keys over and over and over again can be annoying and painful for your keyboard. Now respect your keyboard and utilize the hold down to cast function that a lot of abilities have. So instead of just spamming that three key over and over to repeat the action when it's available, just hold down that three key and chain the abilities one after another. While you're out questing, you want to keep a couple of things in mind. There are a finite amount of quests that offer huge amounts of experience which are invaluable when leveling up your level as well as the level of your skill trees. And believe me when I tell you that you want to get as much experience out of quests as possible. Nothing sucks quite as bad as wanting to level up a brand new level 1 skill tree with nothing but mob grinding and daily quests since you've already done all of the just standard quests. So make use of the overachievement feature on on quests. You can do up to 50% more of the actions a quest requires to gain even more experience. Different quests can be harder to overachieve as the blue shinies will disappear or the item will be removed from the quest tracker, but doing it the old fashioned way, running up to the collectible or opening your inventory to use this, you will be able to overachieve those quests that don't seem overachievable. Hidden quests. Until you hit 50, you may get burnt out just grinding quest after quest after quest, but at 50 and when you want to level up those other skill trees, like I said before, you're going to want to go back and find the quests that you missed to help level these up. Fortunately for you that even if you snagged all of those glowing exclamation marks, there are still more to be had. These are hidden quests and generally they're triggered for just killing X amount of enemies in a certain zone or by looting a specific item from an enemy that's dropped. But what I will do is just to make this a lot easier, I'm going to refer you to an awesome website. I'll put the link in the description below and it will show you a whole bunch of these different hiding spots of these hidden quests and quest lootables that will just direct you when you want to sort of clean everything up and get that bonus experience. Same faction PvP. Now, this isn't as much a tip as a reminder, since I think the only place I read this was in a loading screen tip that was only on screen for like half a second because of an SSD, and I think it was in beta, but sometimes you just need to lay a smack down, down, I guess, and control plus F will allow you to enter bloodlust mode, which in contested areas will allow you to kill your own faction. Now, it is a crime, but sometimes doing something wrong feels so right, and if you're not one for killing, remember Remember that in certain zones, even your own faction can take you out, so don't be a dick, is what I'm trying to say. Just don't be a dick. Gliders don't quite have an easy way to descend, which can suck as you slowly glide over where you originally wanted to go. Lucky for you though, in Arc Age, fall damage doesn't seem to kill you, so even from extreme heights, just close up your glider and you will plummet to a very near, but not dead state. Now, I've only tested this at full HP. I have died jumping down when I've only had like 10, 20% HP, so be careful. But this is going to save you a ton of time just waiting for your glider to slowly descend to the ground. Now, a quick note is that you will also take fall damage when falling into the water, something that doesn't normally happen in MMOs. Keep your goddamn mounts summoned. Your mount gains experience by watching you kill enemies and running under or alongside you. Leveling your mounts gives you access to new mount equipment as your mount levels up, as well as abilities that can be helpful. And for the donkey, which is generally used for trade runs, it is invaluable with the movement speed bonus. And you don't want to be at level 50 with a level 10 donkey spending focused time trying to level it up. You will hate yourself for not just keeping it summoned. You want to do as much of this leveling pass passively as you can and the pets do unsummon a lot so make a conscious decision to resummon this whenever you sort of have a moment and don't even waste time with the combat pets sorry the UI in Arc Age is awful not having mod support really hurts the game but you can do a couple of things to customize it a bit First and most useful is being able to hold shift and drag UI elements around. The quest tracker, player frame, target frame, etc. Pick and choose where you want them and I personally like to turn down the UI scale and this is found in the options. And a little bit on the unrelated but in the functionality section in the options I could not live without double tap to deploy your glider. 
do not let your labor cap. This really shouldn't need a tip, but it's crazy that it does. Labor is a limited resource that not only grants experience when used, but also mastery and leveling up of professions and, in a way, resources. Sure, you might need to find a tree to cut down, but you are in essence trading labor for lumber. So never let your resources cap. If you're really struggling spending your labor, just pop over to the Scarecrow and create some of those 200 labor tax certificates. I'm sure you'll need them later. And if you don't have a sort of paid account, then what you can do is hold on to a bunch of those different purses. Those, uh, you right click on them and it spends X labor to open them up. And just use this to remove labor at will with almost no effort. And you get the little bonus reward of the Archeum and the currency. Remember to shift click purses to auto loot them one after another after another. Even stones are your friend. These are sold by the crafting vendors, and even stones are used to break down and salvage green rarity items and above. Now, when you break them down, you will earn crafting materials that are not only very useful for yourself if you plan on crafting ever, but they're also very valuable. Now, I would recommend that every single piece of green rarity gear and above meets with an even stone by your hands, and then you can just stockpile the materials, or if you don't ever plan on crafting, you can sell them for a quick buck but let me just stress this that this is probably the most important tip in arc age for creating wealth or just maintaining and not just throwing money away there are so many goddamn gold spammers already it's awful and it's pretty easy to ignore them but weirdly i read on the forums and in game that people are having issues ignoring them so even though you've probably already done it for everybody who hasn't all you gotta do is expand your chat window and sometimes you need to just turn your font size down and then you'll be able to see the spammer's name, right click their name and hit block. It's such a simple solution but it's weird that not a lot of people sort of put two and two together. And last but not least, have fun when you play this game. This game does not compete for the most competitive or deep experience out there but you can have some of the most intensely satisfying game experiences. On screen, you'll see a group of guys who decided that they were gonna use the sort of hookshot anchor of a boat to drag their boat from the water to a city. Now, this isn't quite standard gameplay, and there really isn't any point, but I can guarantee you that those guys probably had more fun gaming that night than I did when I grinded quest after quest after quest. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Fever. Peace.